Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Flattery goes a long way. Now, you know what? <laughs> it's interesting because you got a lot of guys talking about game, 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 and doing all this stuff. But I'm going to tell you what. One of the best ways to really get a woman is learn how to flatter her. You know, learn how to praise her or something. And learn how to make her feel good. Now, I saw a detractor one time. And, you know, he tried to say something about bringing a woman pleasure. He was like, oh, no, that's crazy. It's like, no. That's like giving a woman a drug. I mean, giving a woman some pleasure, making her feel good, is like putting $100 into a savings account and a month later getting 1000 back. You get back what you... It, it, it's like, it's actually easy. It's free. Everything. Because, you know, I'm going to tell you what. In the autobiography of Malcolm X, like Malcolm X, when he was Detroit Little, he was on some pimping. He was on some pimping. He knew the game. He was around prostitutes and stuff, right? And he said, one of the things he said, and this is in like kind of the afternotes to the main part, Alex Haley, the writer of uh, the autobiography of Malcolm X, or, you know, the person who scribed everything, he said, yeah, Malcolm said women are vain, you know? And he said, it, Malcolm said, you know, you can go up to a woman who ain't smiling and say, you're the most beautiful woman in the world, right? And she, she might not react the first day. Do it to her a second day, she might not react. The third day when she see you coming, she gonna just start smiling. It's flattery. Now, see, here's the thing, though. It's a skill. It's a skill how you use that flattery. You know, you can't just go every t single time you see the woman like, oh, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. You really can't. You really can't because after a while she's smiling at first, but then she get used to it. You know, and then sometimes they don't come off as sincere. See, the flattery got to be sincere. See, one thing some old school players would do, Regardless of what the woman had going on for, regardless of what she looked like, like say she's more average looking, but he would like find something good about her to say. He would flatter her, right? And then, you know, we deal with the really beautiful women. Believe it or not, a lot of guys don't know how to compliment them in a flattering way. Usually guys compliment them like, hey, you're so beautiful. Got, you know, got the you know, spit dripping, you know, dripping from their mouth, the drool dripping and everything. Whereas somebody no good, you know, he, he knows how to flatter in such a way that it's not like, oh, you're beautiful. He might be like, oh, your hair look nice today. Or, oh, okay. Oh, shoot. That, you wearing that dress. Oh, okay. Also, flattery ain't just about what a woman's physicality is, right? It ain't just about that. It could be... I don't know, you could see something that she's doing well, you know? It might be, you might be in a work situation, social situation, you see, like, it could be somewhere she explaining something. It's like, wow, oh, snap, you know some stuff, don't you? You know? Or it could be like, I don't know, maybe the woman like you and she brings you a plate. She brings you a plate, you know? And you're just like, oh, man, this food is hitting. This food is hitting. In fact, uh, for those who, like, follow me on Instagram, you know, I did a, a post a week or so ago where I'm in a, um, I was in a grocery store getting a wrap from this young lady. And the smile she has on her face when I tell her how good that wrap was. And it was. I was it was so good, I, I had to get her on there. And that's for people who follow my IG. It's right there for you. You know, but it goes a long way. It goes a long way. In fact, that's how, uh, you know, it could be a good thing or bad thing. Like, uh, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. That's how some of the scammers get over on a woman. They just flatter her. Now, I know the guys who, well, most of the guys who follow me, I just looking for a good girlfriend or something. And you got to understand something. You, you got to let them know what's good about them. And like I said, they don't always have to be beauty. It could be just showing appreciation for something that they're doing, that you're acknowledging them. Because I'm going to tell you what. I'm, let me share a story. I remember there was a woman, uh, 
I knew a young lady, young lady. She was, uh, she was good wifey material, good wifey material and everything, right? And she definitely wanted to get with me, but she had a boyfriend. And the type of person she was, I was like, you know, I could, but then if I get with her, I, I ain't going to want to do anything further with her because she, you know, I'll be like, well, she get with me, she cheating. But she said something interesting because she did let me know she wanted to get with me anyway, right? But she said her boyfriend never flattered her, never told her, uh, you know, how she looked good, never made her feel a certain way. She was with him, but he never did that. I'm going to tell you what, that's how a lot of guys lose out on a woman. They simply don't, like, let them know she's pretty. You know, you know, she change up something or, you know, let it show her appreciation. You know, it could be the type of woman get you gifts and the dude's like, oh, huh, you know, do something nice. So what happens is some dude come on the side and all he does is fly to her. Especially if he one of those guys who got real game out here and he reading her. He reading her and seeing she ain't getting that, so he'll be like, oh, oh, you look real nice. Oh, wow, you're real smart. Something. He'll do something. In fact, that's how, that's like, yeah, that's like one of those things, like real plays. Like, when I say real plays, I don't mean some dudes be thinking they know something, like doing videos or something. I'm talking about guys out in the street. And I don't mean Pookie and Ray Ray either. I'm just, when I say street, I mean the real world. And they'll just flatter. They'll just flatter. You know, or sometimes, shoot, saying hi to certain women is flattering, you know, but it goes a long way. But see, the key to it is, and I mentioned this earlier, you know, you can't be just, oh, you're beautiful. Every single time you see them, you got to give it out. Okay, like say if a woman, um, you see a woman, she got her hair styled a certain way. All right, you tell her, you just need to tell her one time, oh, that, that hairstyle look great, oh, real beautiful, mm. Real flattering, you know, be real flattering that way. But then if you see a two, the second and third time, she got the same hairstyle, don't say anything. And that's not really the game of it, but it's like you already complimented her on it. Don't compliment her again, again until she changes the hair again. Then when she changes it up and then compliment. See, you got, you got to hand out the compliments sparingly. In such a way, you can't just give it because then it comes off. If you just every single time, then it comes off like a uh, ho hum. This he on some bullshit, you know. Basically, you making her work for the compliment, you know. Make her earn the compliment, you know. And don't and and if you ain't feeling a woman, that's the main thing. If you ain't really feeling a woman, like you genuinely, you don't find nothing attractive about her. Don't lie to her. <laughs> Seriously, don't lie to them. And I know some guys, you know, they think they get, they go for that low-hanging fruit, right? Thinking, oh, yeah, uh, let me tell her something and just try to get it. It's like if you ain't feeling it, don't say anything. Don't give her a compliment on some part of her you ain't feeling. Because women can pick up when you're sincere in that. Remember, women read in men just as much as anything. Women read in men just as much as anything. So, you know, but you got to learn how to dole it out, you know, and, and I've talked to kind of talked about this is when I talked about giving a woman pleasure, you just don't hand it to her. It's kind of like a drug dealer. Drug dealer don't hook clients by giving them something every day. You give them a little sample, you know, put a little bit of that stuff on the uh, pinky, let them sniff it. All right. But it goes a long way. It goes a long way. People feel good. It makes a person feel feel good because let's let's twist it around. All men know they like it when a woman say, "Hey, you looking good today? You handsome or something?" So if we like it, you know, women definitely do. All right, they definitely do. And sometimes uh, you get some men they get flattered. Be at such a good at providing that flattery, it it overcome, overcomes other stuff with them. You know. He might not be that alpha showpiece or something, but, you know, average looking, but he know how to really work that thing. Boom. So that's some old school game for y'all. So anyway, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.